Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today we're going to be discussing the 10 largest medical device companies. And we have the list of 10 here. I want to start off by pointing out that for some of these companies, the revenue that I show here is just their medical device companies. So they're part of large conglomerates. So the revenue that I'm showing here is just the med device revenue, not their total company revenue. Okay, first off, is Medtronic the largest at 30 billion in, year in revenue? And they are makers of pacemakers and ICDs, which are implantable cardiac defibrillators. Uh, they also make staples and insulin pumps. So their biggest things are in the cardiovascular uh, implantables space. Next up we have Johnson & Johnson. Now notice that Johnson & Johnson was on our pharmacy list as well. This $27 billion in revenue is just their device revenue, right? So if Johnson & Johnson's medical device section were just its own company, it would be the second largest medical device company, okay? They actually own Dupuy, which is a huge maker of ortho implants like hip and knee implants. They also own Ethicon, which makes like the majority of these things called trokers that are put inside or like go through the skin of people when you have surgery done. So they make a ton of surgical supplies that are used in the operating room. They also make LASIK lasers for corrective eye surgery, like a whole bunch of other things too. All right, next up, GE, General Electric, of course, they have 19 billion in medical device revenue and their big thing is imaging, right? So they make MRI machines, CT scanners, ultrasound scanners. They also have something called fluoroscopy, which is used to actually make a, it's almost like a, a, a CT or an X-ray, but it's a movie instead of a still picture. It's typically used like in the operating room. Uh, they also make ventilators. They also make supplies for cardiac catheterizations and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Next up you have Philips. Now Philips is almost in the same category as GE. They have 16 billion in medical device revenue. Again, they make majority of imaging things like MRIs, CT scanners, ultrasound, fluoroscopy. They also make ventilators. They also do cancer. So, oh, so their product offering is like very similar. So they're a huge competitor to GE. Nope, Philips is based in the Netherlands. Next up, Siemens, again at 16 billion in revenue. Again, MRI, CT, ultrasound, fluoro. The only difference is they make a ton of lab equipment, which GE and Philips do not make as much of. Now Siemens also based in Germany, not in America. Okay, next up, we have Abbott Labs with 16 billion of revenue. Okay, what's interesting is that AbbVie, which is on the pharmaceutical list, it actually used to be a part of Abbott Labs and then they spun it out as a separate pharmaceutical company. Now, they also own, they purchased in 2017, St. Jude Medical, which is a huge medical device company that was based in Minneapolis. It was a multi-billion dollar medical device company just on its own. And they make brain stimulators and other sort of electronic uh, implantables in people. They also make a ton of cardiac catheterization uh, equipment. They make uh, really fancy glucometers that do like continuous blood glucose monitoring. You just hold your like smartphone up to it. It tells you what your glucose is. And they make a ton of lab equipment as well. Next up, we have Cardinal Health at 13 billion in revenue. And they just make a, they just distribute a whole bunch of stuff. Right, so tubes, surgery kits, lab equipment, like all sorts of things that are used in the hospital. Durable medical equipment as well. So like walkers and like bedside commodes. They also make a ton of bandages. They just have a ton, as you can imagine, anybody who's ever been to a hospital knows it's just a ton of stuff. And, the, and that comes from Cardinal amongst other companies. Okay, next up, we'll go through these last three uh, quickly. So we have Stryker at 12 billion in revenue and they are the largest maker of orthopedic implants based in Michigan. So like knee implants and hip implants and spinal implants. Uh, BD is Becton Dickinson. Okay, they have 12 billion in revenue. They do a ton of lab devices. They also do a ton of diabetes supplies. So like the actual um, syringes or the lancets that you use to, to prick your finger in order to check your blood sugar level. And then Baxter at 11 billion in revenue uh, also does a ton of uh, tubes and actually a ton of fluids as well. And so what I want you to note here is that when you look at the revenue size of these medical device companies vis-a-vis -vis the pharmaceutical companies, like some of them are comparable or they're about half as big, okay? So what is that? That's still really big. So it's important to know when you think about healthcare costs and the healthcare supply chain that much of what drives cost is actually all this stuff. And so it's important to know the suppliers that make and distribute all the stuff. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.